<laughs> All right, what are we doing here? Woodland Mills. Yep. Woodland Mills, made in Sweden. Grind Lux 4000. This switch will be your advancing arm to advance the blade. This switch is your grinder. And you're going to get all these little grindings after you grind a few blades. And there. We're going to try and sharpen this blade. It's been sharpened. This is uh, twice on this blade. Double hard blade from Woodmiser. The, the advancing arm should be set almost correctly. You loosen this, pull this blade back, pull this box back. Your blade is going to ride behind this washer and behind the washer that's back here. And then this is going to pinch your blade just a little bit so you can so it advances slowly. Your blade goes up in the roller arms. We find our weld. So normally I'd start the weld about right here. So I'd have about two or three teeth before I got to the weld. But for this video, I'm going to start back here just so I can explain a few things before we get to the weld. The weld, they say that the weld can be different. Can make the distance between this tooth and this tooth different from this tooth and this tooth. I've never had one yet that was different. From wood miser I hope I never do but every time it goes after it sharpens this one I make sure I'm watching it so that if it's sharpening this one too much or too little or I miss it I can go back and get it I'm ready to pick this up if it's gonna sharpen it too much it hasn't yet we'll see on this one I'm forgetting to tell you a bunch of stuff here but you set the blade in there, set the blade in there. Tighten this up just a little bit. Flip your arm over. Hook up the red uh, clip. Make sure you hook that to the black on your battery. Make sure you hook the black one to the red. I'm just kidding. Stop it. Red to red, black to black. Still my favorite joke. Red to red, black to black. Dang it. This... arm here comes down and goes in a hole right behind this right behind the back end. And you see when you just set it down it does not go in that hole you've got to make it go in that hole right there and that's where it's supposed to ride we're not going to lower that first we're going to leave that up It comes with a little uh, guide to um, set your blade. And you just grind your blade to the um, guide. Maybe I'll show you that real quick. So here's the little guide that they send with your uh, grinder. So this fits right over there. And should be tight, obviously. And then here's the little shaping stone that they send with the. And you run that along your uh, stone. Turn it on, obviously. You turn it on. And then you run this little grinding stone along there until you get the shape that you 
that this is. Turn it off when you put this on there. I've got a bigger one because I grind chainsaw blades too, so you just run that over until you get the right shape. This side of the blade over here, which goes, which uh, sharpens the tooth, the tip of the tooth, is supposed to be flat. So your blade's supposed to be like that. So when you grind, you're grinding a curve in that blade. You're trying to grind this curve with this stone. So you'll be going like this. This side of the blade stays straight. They say you'll have to grind that again after you after your stone wears down, but I haven't yet. I've sharpened um, four blades probably twice, four two blades four times, and another two blades three times. So how many that is? Fourteen, twenty, twenty sharpenings so far, and I haven't. I haven't dusted this wheel stays about the same. So the book says, the book says that we're supposed to sharpen the tooth. I can't remember what the, the actual sharp part of the tooth is called. We're supposed to sharpen the tooth right here, this side of the tooth. And we're supposed to sharpen the gullet to right in there, just the low part of the gullet. So that's all we're sharpening. We're not sharpening the back of the blade. On the up, anytime it comes up, we're not sharpening that. We're not sharpening the back tip of the blade. And that's what the book says. I've seen people adjust this to where it will sharpen the back side of this blade, but that is not what the instructions say. I don't see any reason in sharpening the back of the blade yet. Maybe I'm wrong. But we're gonna try it this the way the book says. So that will advance the tooth. The correct distance. We'll put the grinder down, put that in the hole. Now that grinder will just not be touching that tooth. Oops, you can hear it grinding just a little bit on that tooth and just a little bit in the gullet. So that's what we want, just a little bit. Now we're gonna turn on the grinder. It should hit that tooth. Ooh, that's quite a bit. That's more than I usually wanna take off. I am going to not quite take off that much and I'm going to advance this a little bit now there's the weld from wood miser and there's the tooth just sharpening the tooth and just hitting the down side of the gullet. On the back side of this blade, you're gonna get this. You can just barely feel a, a um, whatever you call it, a burr. You can just barely feel a burr on the back of those. I'm not gonna take a wire brush and, or a, wire wheel and grind off every one of those burrs. I'm gonna let it come off in the wood. Here's your automatic shutoff tool. This will kick both these switches to off once it gets around back around to this point. Oops, not that way, this way. Those two, go right over that, that way, so that this will flip the switches off in supposedly 20 minutes. I haven't timed this, never timed this either, 
But that's what it says in the book. 20, 20 minutes. The blade is rotating on the wheels. It will be oblong. It will push out this way more than it pushes out that way. But it comes around just fine. As long as this stays in here. And this is tight. Not tight, but you know, snug. And that's going to do its job right there. The adjustments on this, once you get them properly set, there's very, very little adjustments between blades that you're going to do. You put this blade on, and the next blade you put on here, this will almost already be set. You may have to screw this a little bit, screw this a little bit, and that's it. The hard part was getting it, you know, set to advance the right amount. I'm probably taking off just a little bit too much of that tooth. A little bit more than I want to take off. You can adjust the head of this so that it... You can sharpen to whatever degree you want to sharpen to. Um, you can go from 7 to, I think, 14. You can't go less than 7. We're doing about eight right now. Um, don't hardwoods. We're doing some hardwoods and we're doing some pine too. The egg seems to be mowing through the pine pretty good. Um, the knots on the pine are maybe a little bit much for the eight degree, but the hardwoods. I'm doing a majority of hardwoods. And it buzzes right through them. So, if you want to see more of these videos, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I don't, I don't have it like... Oh yeah, I do. At the end of the video, there'll be a thing you can subscribe to. It'll be popping up now, because this is about the end of the video. Any questions, leave a comment. There's some black on the blade. Then run twice. I don't clean it. I'm not cleaning these. The rest of it's real shiny. Just in this spot and this spot here. I'm letting the water do the cleaning so far. I haven't found a problem with that. Just the back of the tooth and the gullet. Like and subscribe. Here's the automatic shut off. Woodland Mills. Sad Lux 4000 automatically shuts off. Next tooth it will automatically shut off. There's the last one. There. And there it shut off. And now you make sure you got, you got the gullet on that one. And let me see that one. Okay, I didn't get the go on that one. May have to sharpen one more tooth. May have put this a little bit too far. No, nope, I've got it. I got the blade and the gullet on all those. There's just almost no burr. By the time you get around, there is no burr. I've got the gullet in every one of those. You can't see it because the shadow's on it, but there you can see those. See how you've got just on the down of the gullet, not on the up the back of the tube. And that's it for the Grind Lux 4000. Simple, easy. Get that blade out of there and start cutting some wood. 
One more time on the windmills here. This is the second blade. Blade that I just set. We're not quite touching. And we're not even hitting the gullet. And that's where I like to be when I start this. Now we might be touching the blade to tip the tool. Yep, but we didn't get the gullet. So now you adjust this down until you get the gullet. Release your brake there. You still didn't get the gullet. Still didn't get the gullet. Still not getting the gullet. And that's, that's how you normally have to do a blade. Just barely picked it up. Just one more time. Tighten my brake. And there it is. That's, that's what you normally have to do every time is just dial that down just a little bit and it should be right on it pick the gullet up as soon as it starts coming back up gullet just barely got that going but we're getting it like and subscribe i don't know how many times i said that should be enough huh